When people started caging themselves in this spring, birds flew the coop. It's sort of the first data showing that animals responded to changes in human behavior. Elizabeth Derryberry is an assistant professor of ecology and evolutionary biology at UT Knoxville. She's been studying bird song for more than 20 years, but this year was different. It was so much more quiet that you could still hear them at a greater distance. She and her team looked at recordings they had of white crowned sparrows. They live in San Francisco. This is how they sounded in 2016. And this is how they sounded during the lockdown of spring 2020. It's all thanks to the lack of noise pollution. The bird's songs carried farther with fewer cars in the way. The traffic is sort of a constant presence. It's this low hum and it's a lot of energy at low frequencies, which are specifically overlapping or masking these songs. Think of it like you're at a party. You talk louder so you can hear each other over the noise, but when the noise is gone... It wasn't that they were louder, you could just hear more of them. Derry Berry said birds are like people. We're speaking the same language, just with different accents. Birds from Texas, Boston, and good old East Tennessee birds are gonna tweet just a little different they learn their song like we learn language. And so it's a really nice model for understanding how people learn how to speak and communicate. So why does this matter? It shows nature can handle almost any change that comes its way. Animals are resilient. If you reduce noise pollution, they can respond really quickly. And that feels good. Tweeting in Knoxville, I'm Shannon Smith.